Alright guys, so we're going to be getting started on practice set for Saxon Math Course 3 Lesson 93, Solving Equations with Exponents. Now, I lost the beginning of the video, uh, we did go through the first few steps of this, but we're going to start from the beginning. We have 2x squared minus 3 equals 29. Now, in order to get rid of a minus 3, we need to add 3 to both sides. That will give us 2x squared equals 32. To get rid of the 2 in 2x squared, we're going to divide by 2, giving us x squared equals 16. Now, in order to solve x squared equals 16 for x, we need to get rid of the x squared. Getting rid of the x squared is going to mean we need to take the square root of both sides. Square root of 16 is plus or minus 4. Now, we're going to be checking our work on each step here, so starting off with the positive side, positive 4. 2 times 4 squared minus 3 should equal 29. Well, 4 squared is 16. 2 times 16 is 32. 32 minus 3 is 29. So the positive side works. Now let's try the negative side. 2 times negative 4 squared. Well, this will give us 2 times 16 minus 3 equals 29, which would give us 32 minus 3 equals 29 and 29 equals 29. So the negative side works as well. Now, you, if you're ever unsure if your answer is correct, plug it back in for the variable you solved for. If it works, if it gets you to the correct answer of a number equaling itself, then you found the right answer. If it doesn't get you there, then you've done something wrong. Now, 5x squared plus 6 equals 16. Well, to start off with, we're going to need to subtract 6 from both sides. When we subtract 6, it, we're doing that because it is the opposite of adding 6. That'll give us 5x squared equals 10. Now, in order to get x by itself, we're going to need to divide both sides by 5. So dividing on this side by 5, dividing on this side by 5. Here, these 5's cancel, giving us x squared equals 10 divided by 5 is 2. So x, after we take the square root of both sides, will equal the square root of 2, but a plus or minus the square root of 2. Now, when we're plugging this back in, we're going to have our positive side and our negative side. We're going to have 5 parentheses root 2 squared plus 6 equals 16. And root 2 squared is going to be just 2. So 5 times 2 plus 6 equals 16. That's 10 plus 6. And 16 equals 16. On the minus side, on the negative side, we're going to have 5 times negative root 2 squared plus 6 equals 16. Well, negative root 2 squared is still going to be positive 2. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 6 is 16. 16 does equal 16. And it works on both sides. Notice, after we do the square root, our answers are identical. That's because squaring a negative number makes it positive. That's why we get two answers at the end of these equations. All right. Negative 7x squared plus 8 equals negative 13. We're going to start off by subtracting 8 from both sides, giving us negative 7x squared equals negative 21. Now, we need to divide both sides, and some of you might have raised your hand and told me it was 7. We're not going to divide by 7. We're going to divide by negative 7, because we want to get x all the way by itself. Now. Here, the negatives and the sevens cancel out, giving it x squared equals, the negatives cancel out, and 21 divided by 7 is 3. So, x squared is 3, so to find x, we need to take the square root, meaning x is plus or minus the square root of 3. Now, if we want to check our work, on the positive side, we're going to have negative 7 root 3 squared plus 8 equals negative 13. 
This will give us negative 7 times 3 plus 8 equals negative 13. Negative 21 plus 8 equals 13. That's negative. And negative 21 plus 8 is negative 13. So that works. On the negative side, it's going to look exactly the same, but I'll show you the first steps anyway. Negative 7, negative root 3 squared plus 8 equals negative 13. Now this will be negative 7. Negative root 3 squared is still just 3. This will give us negative 21 plus 8 equals negative 13 and negative 13 equals negative 13. Now on this one, our variable is on the other side, but remember, equations aren't directional, so it doesn't matter. We're going to start off with our subtraction we see here. The opposite of subtraction is addition, so we're going to add 24 to both sides. 24 plus 8 is going to give us 32 equals 4 w squared. We're going to divide both sides by 4. Now 32 divided by 4 is 8, so we're going to have 8 on this side equals w squared. Now we're going to need to take the square root of both sides, and that will give us the square root, plus or minus, of 8 equals w. If we remember from our example in class today, we're going to have plus or minus 2, root 2, equals w. Now, how do we get the 2 root 2? Remember that 8 is 4 times 2, so the square root of 8 is square root of 4 times square root of 2, meaning it's equal to 2, the square root of 4, root 2. With e. Now, E is a proportion. It doesn't tell us it's based off a rectangle, so we can have a negative answer here. Remember, we're going to use our cross product if we see a proportion that looks like this. So the equation we get set up is x squared equals 4 times 9, which is 36. To solve this, we take the square root of both sides, which will give us x equals plus or minus 6. Here we have another proportion. We have x squared equals 4 times 3, which is 12. If we take the square root of both sides, we get x equals plus or minus the square root of 12. Now 12, we know, is 4 times 3. 4 is a perfect square, so root 12 equals root 4 times root 3, or 2 root so x is going to equal plus or minus 2 square root of 3. Now, practice set G says Yoli arranges 121 squares into one large square. How many tiles are on each side? To set that up, we're going to say that 121 is the area of a square with side length s. So side square is going to be 121. To solve this, we take the square root of both sides. Uh, square root of 121 is 11, but it's going to be plus or minus equals s. Can a side be negative? No. So the side is equal to 11 tiles. All right, that's been our practice set for lesson 93. I hope you guys understood all of this. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment on the material or on the homework for lesson 93, which is going to be uploaded shortly. All right, have a wonderful day. Stay safe, wash your hands, and do your homework.